Welcome to week two of the Journey Kids Experience. Planned especially just for who? You. you. I'm Mr. Jordan, and this is Miss Lynn. Hey guys. And this is my friend, Mr. Ian. Glad to be here with you today. This month, we're talking about the new theme, which is, oh, I forgot it again. Oh, Jordan. What is it? We're posing these people, focus, buddy, focus. What is it? Oh, wait, I got it, it's focus. Yeah. What focus is, is taking a closer what? A closer look. Yeah, I got a fun game plan for us too, just for today, called Sweet. Fast Focus. How do you play? Ooh. What's gonna happen is an image is gonna pop up on the screen, it's gonna be blurry, but you have to guess what it is. First one to guess, wins. Cool, let's play. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. Let's dive right into it, come on. I'm in. All right, let's take a look at this. Here we go. Hmm. You know what? Hey, Lynn, how about you go first? Ladies first. Wow, Ian, that's so nice, thank you. You're welcome. Hmm, I'm gonna guess the planet Earth? Hmm, that's a good guess. Jordan, what do you think? Uh, a cup of water. A cup of water? All right. So, I'm not gonna lie, I honestly think that, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's a vein. I think it's a vein, and here's why. Because they say that your blood is red, but inside your body it's blue. So, did you know that your veins are blue? I did not know that. Yeah, so I think it's a vein. All right, what do you guys think? Think into your heads, whatever you think. All right, should we reveal it? Let's reveal Let's the reveal answer. Let's reveal the answer. Let's see who won. Drum roll, please. Uh, an amoeba. Ah. What is an amoeba? Do you know what? It, did you pick this, Jordan? Well, I guess not, because I you did didn't not know pick the this, answer. Yeah. I didn't know the answer. What's an amoeba? I don't know, some type of cell maybe? Hey Siri. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's a kind of cell. Like a virus infected cell. Maybe, maybe not. Looks cool though. Yeah. What's next? Here we go. Let's see. Ooh. I'm gonna go first on this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and think that this is a big blurry image of the planet Saturn. That's what I was gonna guess I'm gonna too. guess the basketball from Space Jam. When they all touched it and a glue and they got their powers. That's a good guess. I'm sticking with Saturn though. Yeah, this one's definitely the planet Saturn. All right, you guys get your guesses at home inside of your heads or wherever you're at right now, in the auditorium, in a car, wherever you're watching from. What are you gonna guess this is? Drum roll please. Let's what is it? Reveal it. Oh, oh you guys nice. are right, it's a planet. So it basketball. doesn't say what planet, but that definitely is Saturn. Definitely. So, Lynn and I get a point, and Ooh. Jordan, I mean, you're close. You said, <laughs> you did say space. Yeah, space jam. jam. <laughs> so you're kind of close, but you don't get a point. That's a classic film. And Lynn and I are kicking your butt now. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're tied. All right, let's roll it on. Keep it going, come on. Yep, Jordan's in a hurry to see what's next. Now that he's trailing behind a point. All right. Go ahead, Jordan, you can go first. I'm gonna guess. Close up picture of a watermelon. A watermelon? A watermelon, yeah. That's your guess. Oh, okay. All I can right. kind of see that and this being like the watermelon seeds, I guess. Mm hmm. But I'm gonna guess blood cells. Blood cells? Mm hmm Blood cells, okay. Uh, at first I wanted to say a tomato because I mean I hate tomatoes and I don't <laughs> like this game anymore that much, so and this is red. So I was just gonna go ahead and say tomatoes, but I also, if you're saying blood cells and you and I are tied, if you're wrong, I just, I don't wanna be out of the game. So I'm just going to copycat Lynn and I'm gonna go ahead and say blood cells. Locking in. One more for blood cells. All right, what do you guys right. think? What do you guys think? Get your, uh, get your thoughts locked in. Drum roll, please. Oh. Blood platelets. Yeah. We should definitely, I mean, it doesn't say blood cells, but. We should get a point for that same for sure. Difference. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> same difference, same thing, same, same. Working together to get the job done. Working together. All right, to let's get see what the, the next one done. is. All right. Ooh. Oh. Huh. All righty then. Okay, I think that this is like the head and the face of a turtle. Head and face of a turtle? Yeah. See, I think it looks like a turkey. It looks like a turkey angel. Like, uh, oh. that was a good turkey noise. <laughs> Did you practice that? So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think it's an egg. I definitely think it's an egg, like an egg yolk, like a fried egg, like yeah. for breakfast. 
What do you think, Jordan? Uh, my guess is a rotten green apple. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? A, a green? That's my guess, okay? Oh, I forgot, Jordan. This, you're not going to do too good at this game because you're colorblind. I forgot that you're colorblind. Oh, uh, yeah, I am colorblind. <laughs> so this looks, gr this looks green to you? I forget to at the beginning. Yep. Right, so it right really now, does. you see green. Yeah, I see the white and then a green <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, is it? Uh, we'll see is, if it's a green apple or not. Watch, watch Jordy get it right. Pancake! Oh, pancake! Wow! Pancake. I, I did not see that one coming. No, me either. Yo, I feel like I should get a half a point though because I did guess egg, and that's a breakfast food. I said you can eat apples for breakfast. It's kind of that's close, a healthy breakfast. But mm, I had yeah. an apple not for breakfast close this morning. Enough. All right, no, <laughs> no points are awarded. Wait, Lynn, I forgot. What did you guess? We're still tied. Um, I guessed the turtle. A head. turtle. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. All right, cool. So you and I, are we tied with two points or one? With two points. All right. Two, we, okay. All right, and how many does, how many do you have, Jordan? Uh, zero. Wah, wah, no. wah. Not a, nothing. I wonder how you guys are doing who are watching right now. I don't know. Let's see what we got next. All right, I think this is our last picture, too. Hmm. Here, Jordan. I'll guess first. It looks to be some sort of light. I'm going to guess the tr Front train light. You know how the front train light, like old fashioned trains, they have that tr bright yeah. light to guide the uh, conductor. I'm, I'm honestly that's what surprised that, is. that you're Someone's not guessing a green hot air balloon. <laughs> 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 that's a big green hot air balloon. <laughs> I can't see because I'm colorblind. All right, uh, Lynn, what do you think? Um, I think it's a camera flash. A camera flash. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. So you think behind that big bright light is a camera? Yeah. That's All good right. guess. That's kind of cool. I'm, I think it's the sun. Like, I think it's a blurred out picture of the sun or maybe like an eclipse. So I guess if I had to pick between the two, I'm going to go with, uh, this is a picture of a lunar eclipse. <laughs> lunar eclipse. All right, drum roll, All please. All right, let's see what it is. <laughs> Let's go. Oh! What? Oh, what? A plate? A plate. Uh, I didn't oh, see plate. that one come. Yo, you know what makes you me more mad? You can't even see the The silver. fork or the knife. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't even see the silverware. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I feel like you'd be able to still like see some of the brown from the table. Oh my goodness. What a ridiculous game. We had to focus. I hope that you guys had fun playing that game because I know that I had fun whooping Mr. Jordan's butt with Miss Lynn because we tied and that makes us the, the winners. winners. And still that makes you, Jordan, the loser. And because of that, I think that Miss Lynn should get to pie you in the face. Ooh. Or maybe she should get to splash cannon you. Ooh. Or maybe she should get to slime you. Oh, what? Stay tuned to the end of the show and we'll see what happens. But first, I had a question for you, Mr. Jordan. I felt bad because you are colorblind. Did that make it more hard for you to focus? It did. It did make it more hard for me to focus. Not because I'm colorblind, but because the picture was blurry. Couldn't see the whole thing. So I had to focus, take a closer look, and have some faith that my answers would be correct. Hmm. Speaking of faith, that makes me think of this month's Life app. What is it? Oh, it's faith. Wait, what's faith? Faith is trusting what you can't see because what you can see. Oh. Yep, that's right. Let's learn more about faith as we tune into this week's episode of The So-and-So Show. Yeah! yeah! Let's check it out. <clears throat> Scalpel. Scalpel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Prep the top for me, please. Mm -hmm. Prepping the top. Top is prepped. Prep the base. Prepping the base. Base is prepped. Mm -hmm. Tweezers. Tweezers. Here's where it gets really delicate. Mm -hmm. Wipe, 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 wiping, 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 wiping. Wiped. Thank you. 
<clears throat> You're welcome. <sighs> and close it up. Closing it up. <clears throat> you did it. Nah. We did it. <laughs> uh. Feed me. Feeding you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> mm. mm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. And I am John. This is the so-and-so show, buddy, you okay? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, Brandon. I'm, I'm focused and no one's gonna catch me not focusing. Oh, what was that? Did you lose your focus? Oh, man! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do better this time. Why, John? Brandon, Why? I have struggled with being able to focus my whole life. There is, are always things competing for my attention. Yeah, like like having guests on the show. Yes, exactly, like having a guest on the show. It, it totally breaks my concentration. Mm. It's time for someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Seat. <laughs> yep, right there. Okay. One moment, please. All righty. What are you... Um... Hello, guten tag. How are you both? We're focused. We're good, Hans, thank you so much. Can you tell everyone who you are and what you know? Hello, my name is Hans Decibel. I am an audio engineer with a recent interest in Foley artistry. Uh -huh. And what is that exactly? I am so glad you asked this question to me. Thank you. Many of the sounds we hear in film and in television are not recorded live but are inserted after the fact by a Foley artist. Oh, that's very interesting. So yeah. if I'm watching a movie and, yeah. and uh, I see someone walking up some, some creaky stairs, yeah. the stairs don't actually have to be creaky. They can be added later by a Foley artist. The this yeah. is correct. Wow, that's, that's cool. W yeah. What's in the suitcase? I have brought with me here today a selection of audio properties that I use in the creation of my sound effects. I will now make the sound, and you will guess what is the sound. Oh, so it's like a game. Yeah. I have brought blindfolds. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Here, put it in my hand. I'm not going to look at them. Okay. All right. Okay. All I guess right. it goes like that. Huh. Okay. Oh, this makes it really hard to focus. Okay, John, you can focus with your uh, ears, too, you know. Oh, oh, yeah. That's right. All right. Just listen. That's right. All right. All right, right, right. Okay, ready. Very good. That's the sound of a suitcase opening. This is correct. He hasn't started yet, John. Whatever, I am focused. Yeah. Okay, sound number one. Oh, oh, oh th 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 that sounds like my dog, Brutus, running down the hallway to greet me when I get home from work. Is that you, Brutus? Come here, Brutus, come here. Uh -huh. I have fooled you. This was not Brutus, but the sound of paper clips oh. on a cutting board making the tippy-tappy sound of canine claws on laminate flooring. Sound number two. Oh, uh, that's a horse! This is correct. <laughs> number three. Oh, I know. That. Oh man, that sounds just like a bird flapping its wings. Whoa, where is it? <laughs> Sound number four. Oh, it's so cold in here. Is this snow on the ground? <laughs> no, it is just a bag of cornstarch. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm slipping. I, I hope I don't fall and break a bone. Ouch! Oh. Oh. It's a pain! Ouch! Are, are, you, are you all right? Do we need to call an ambulance? Ha! Uh, ha! What? I have fooled you again. This was only the sound of celery ribs. Oh! 
Wow, that was incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll never look at celery the same way again. Mm. And yeah. cornstarch, that's amazing. Yeah, this is correct. <laughs> Ordinary things become extraordinary when you open your eyes and ears to the possibilities. Oh, that's a really cool way to put it. I will now explore the space. To find ordinary things to make extraordinary. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, okay. I think this is a good idea. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. oh! What in the world? Ha! Ah! Ha! I have fooled you for a third time. By dropping this box of knives and forks on the ground, I made you believe I was destroying your room. It is a good joke. Yes. Yes, that's very funny. You know what? I think that's all the time we have. Hey! Hi! Ha! Ha! Okay, my focus is completely gone now. Then let's get back on track. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Kellen. <laughs> Kellen! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hey guys, sorry about that. What you listening to? Oh, um, I was listening to an old time radio show. That's what people did for home entertainment before television. I used to listen to them as a kid. How old are you, Kellen? Actually, I think it would be really cool if we could tell today's story like an old radio show with sound effects and everything. Is Han still there? Yeah. How did you? Take it away, Kellen. Okay, I now present Saul on the road to Damascus, radio style. Jesus had been killed, and the people who didn't like what Jesus stood for thought they heard the last of him. But then a rumor started going around that Jesus came back from the dead, and more and more people were becoming followers of a new Jesus movement called The Way. They had to be stopped, and one of the people in charge of stopping them was Saul of Tarsus. <laughs> I am Saul of Tarsus, and I shall do everything I can to oppose Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> you there! Who? Me? Yes, you. Are you a follower of the way? I am! Seize him! <laughs> Saul went from place to place, to find Jesus' followers and have them put in the jail. And even put to death. Saul asked permission from the high priest to travel to other cities so he could arrest even more followers of the way. And that's why Saul was traveling on the road to Damascus. Saul and the men he was traveling with had letters that gave Saul permission to arrest any Jesus follower he wanted. He was determined to complete his mission. He was focused. But then an incredible thing happened. A light from heaven flashed all around Saul and his companions. Saul fell to the ground and he heard a voice. Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. The men with Saul heard a sound, but they were unable to speak. The men helped Saul to his feet, but when Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see anything. So he had to be led to Damascus by hand. For three days, Saul didn't eat or drink anything. What will happen next? Will Saul regain his sight? Will he continue to oppose Jesus? You'll have to wait until next time to find out. You can't leave it like that, Kellen. That's how all old time radio shows end. You always have to wait until next time. Or you can read what happens next yourself. It's right here in Acts chapter nine. I don't like waiting. 
All right then. Besides, there's a lot to learn with just this part of the story. Saul was so focused on his mission that he was missing what was really important. It took a bright light on a road for God to really get Saul's attention. Okay, I get it. So focusing is a bad thing. No, I just think we need to check in with God a lot more to make sure we're focused on the right things. Great idea. Thanks, Kellen. Mm -hmm. Yep. You guys know where I'll be. I'll see you around. That was fun. I agree. Hey. Much ha fun. Hans, you're still here. Yeah. yeah. I am here to say. Reveal the question. Maybe a little more energy. Ah. Reveal the question. That worked. Yeah. Uh, the question of the day is, how does God try to get your attention? Hey, that's a good question. You know, he's never appeared to me in a bright light, I can tell you that. <laughs> me either. Hans? Yeah. Many times. How does God try to get your attention? Is it like a small voice inside you or a big crack of thunder? Or is it something we've never thought about? Mm -hmm. Talk about it together. Yeah. <laughs> Sound waves. So mysterious. Mm, you're telling me. Hey, we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Uh, yeah. Is that me? Yeah. Oh, all right. Brandon, do you know what today is? I do, John. What it's is it? our 150th episode. It's true. 150 episodes. That's right. So let's celebrate. Hey, count down with me, everybody. Come on, come on. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, See you next week? Yeah. I, mean. I love the so-and-so show. Brandon and John are so funny, right? Yeah, they're hilarious. And I always learn so much about the Bible from Kellen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the question they ended with there. How does God try to get your attention? What about you, and how, how does God try to get your attention? Ah, uh, that was a good question, and I wasn't ready for you to put me on the spot. But luckily, I know the answer to that because when I read the Bible, I'll think that Jesus is talking to me sometimes. Like one time I read where Jesus was like, hey, you shouldn't be angry. It's just as bad as murdering someone. And I was like, you know what? That's a good point, Jesus. And then I came to work and caught Miss Lynn here stealing my snacks. And then I got really mad because those are my snacks and she took them. And I said, you know what, Jesus, you're right. I do have anger issues and I should work on them. And that's how I saw that God was trying to talk to me. What about you, Lynn? That was a really great example, Ian. For me, God gets my attention through my clumsiness. So sometimes I'll be walking and I'll just be walking on a sidewalk, not even a hill or anything, and I'll trip over my feet and I'll almost fall. And it help, helps me to trust that God will always protect me and never let me get hurt. Mm -hmm. And maybe you wouldn't have tripped if you weren't eating my snacks that you stole. There you go. Speaking of I falling. I borrowed them. <laughs> Speaking of falling, we saw Saul fall to his knees on his way to Damascus, blinded by the light. He was like, I was blind. Yeah, we saw God try to get his attention in a pretty mm -hmm. dramatic way, guys. Everything changed for Saul that way. But Saul had to have faith, grow, and we'll find out what else happens, if he gets his sight back or not, in next week's episode of The So-and-So Show. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. So, guys, let's dive into this month's memory verse. All right, guys, you ready to learn this month's memory verse? Yeah, yeah. I'm stoked. Yeah, let's do it with motions. What? All right, it is faith is being sure what we hope for, it is being sure what we do not see. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number one. Oh, you guys are really good at that. I didn't know there was going to be hand motions. I wasn't here last week. Oh, that's fine. We can teach you. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? All right, let's, time. let's do it slow for Ian, all right? All right. It is faith, faith. hands in the air, Okay. is being sure, sure. two thumbs up, Hands at the chest of what we hope for is being sure, two thumbs up, of what we do not see. Cover up your eyes so you can't see. Okay. Now make a bow with your hands. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number one. All right. You got it? Yeah. All nice. right, let's do it one more time. All right. All right here we go. It is faith, faith is being, being sure, sure of what we hope for, is being sure 
what we do not see. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number one. Good job, guys. Give yourself a thumbs up. All right. Let's all get ready to worship. Here we go. Yeah. Don't count me out Cause 
It's one of my favorite things. Me too. And we had so much fun with you guys through this whole entire experience. Wait, if we just worship though, that means that the show's almost over, right? It does mean the show's almost over, but we have a fun activity for you guys to do at home. It's an at-home challenge. An at-home challenge? That's right. Guys, we want you to find five ways to be blessings, not burdens. We don't want you to turn a blind eye. We don't want you to be blind like Saul was in the story. We want you to focus, take a closer look at what needs to be done around the house. Well, what so, are some things that they can do? Well, some examples, glad you asked, are like doing the dishes. Open your eyes. Yeah, fold some laundry. Open your eyes. Maybe pick up your socks on the ground. Open your eyes. Yeah, or help your dad clean up the yard because Father's Day is coming up, guys. And hey, open your eyes and say happy Father's Day when that comes. Yes, absolutely. All right, guys, so before we part ways, Ian, would you mind praying for us? I would love to pray for us, Jordan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this incredible story that you've given us. God, we pray that you open our eyes to see things around us, ways that we can serve and ways that we can help, Lord. We pray that you use us and those actions to lead people to having a closer relationship with you, Lord. We love you and we thank you. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. All right, guys, we are not ready to part ways yet. The show is almost over. But just like I said, Lynn gets to do something pie in the face, splash cannon you, or Ooh. slime Ooh. you. So here's how I figured out we're going to figure out how to do this, okay? I just thought of it right now. We're going to play rock, paper, scissors, okay? Love that game. Yep. I am going to be the pie in the face. You're going to be slime. And Lynn, you're going to be splash cannon, okay? All right. You and I are going to play rock, paper, right. scissors. And then the winner of that goes to Miss Lynn, okay? And then whatever you get is what you get. All right. You guys ready? All right. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, oh rock, paper, scissors. All right, Miss Lynn, you ready? Ready. Go. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Hooray! Looks like you're getting splash cannon, my Let's friend. Let's do this. Oh, here, I'll hold your mic for you, Miss Lynn. All right, here we go. You ready? In three, <laughs> two, one, splash cannon! Eight, Make it look like he seven, wet his pants. Six, oh, Jordan, five, you wet your pants. Four, three, you wet your pants. Two, All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Have a great day.